blog, Handed Homemade, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and stick around. Hey friends, editing Haley here. I just wanted to hop in and let you guys know that I've gotten a couple comments about the music being too loud and distracting. I think that I fixed it. If you'll let me know in a comment down below whether or not I did, that would be great. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you for subscribing and sticking around. There's been so many new people, you know, subscribe to my channel. And I just think that's so awesome. I um, just appreciate each and every one of you guys. But I also want you to enjoy my videos. So, like I said, if, um, if it's not fixed, let me know. But if it is, um, also let me know because I, I think I fixed it. I think I did. So, all right. Well, I'm going to let you guys hop on into the video but before you do um it's morning time here and i want to get i want to show you guys the sunrise because it's absolutely stunning this morning and i'm just in and all of of it and the beauty that our creator made so yeah i'm gonna show you that and then we're gonna go on into the video today i'm going to be sharing with you my favorite kitchen um, utensils, items that are non-toxic. I am getting into cooking. I'm still kind of new to cooking from scratch, but since I have been spending a lot more time in the kitchen, I've been doing a little bit of research about the products that I was using. Um, I know that Netflix has a documentary about Teflon and all the um, side effects that come from using Teflon. I know that just since doing my research, there's a lot of chemicals and toxins in the things that you use that can leach into your food. And obviously we don't want that. So I'm going to be sharing with you the kitchen utensils that I use that are non-toxic, but most of them I have thrifted. So if you are looking to do this on a budget, if you're, you know, a little bit tight on money, thrifting is always the way to go. And I'll show you some of my great finds that I found at the thrift store. On the note of thrifting, I recently filmed a video um, that was a thrift haul of all the things that I recently got at the thrift store. And if you want to check that out, I will link it in the eye up above. And lastly, before we get into the video, um, if my Aunt Marsha is watching, my great Aunt Marsha, um, she recently gave me this sweater that was my great grandmother's and so I just I'm so excited to be wearing it I think it's just the sweetest thing ever and I just wanted to say thank you let's go ahead and get into the video so the first thing that I'm gonna be sharing is actual utensils I prefer wood wood is very neutral it will not leach toxins into your food and most of the time you can find actually i found all of these at the thrift store for less than a dollar a piece so i highly suggest checking out the utensil section in the thrift store because you never know what you'll find and then stainless steel we got a whole set of stainless steel utensils when my husband and i were getting married and i love them i don't always prefer them because they can scratch your pans and wood usually doesn't, but for ladles and straining and those kind of things, I really enjoy stainless steel. So the second product that I'm gonna be sharing with you is cast iron. I so far I love cooking on cast iron. Ours come pre-season. This one is specifically from the Pioneer Woman. And if you can see, there's this really pretty butterfly. On it that I think is just so sweet but I am still figuring out how to properly use and care for my cast iron I may make a video on that my mom cooks on cast iron quite often so I might can talk her into doing a video with me on how to properly cook and care for cast iron so cast iron is a great non-toxic option compared to um, other non-stick pans and you can usually find um, cast iron at your local thrift store. So I would always check that out for and be on the lookout for cast iron. The third thing that I have to recommend to you is stoneware. So I specifically use Pampered Chef. 
I thrifted all of mine or bought them secondhand from people, but I love to use these to bake bread in. I have their pizza stones that I use for pizzas, cookies, biscuits, whatever it, um, cooking that can go on there I use. And they're really, really wonderful when they are seasoned over time. My mom has her pampered chef that she got when my dad and her got married and that was 28 years ago. So they last a lifetime, they're great quality and they're non-toxic um, for basically the same reasons as cast iron. I did reach out to Pampered Chef because they are not completely lead free. They are in regulation with the California Proposition 65 as well as um, I think European standards. They are well within those. They simply just aren't lead free because stoneware is made out of natural materials and there's traces of lead found in the um, natural materials that they use to make the products. But I highly recommend switching out your cookie trays and your aluminum for stoneware. So the next thing that I have to recommend to you is glass. I picked these up off of Amazon. They are the Pyrex mixing bowls that nest into each other. And I love glass over plastic um, because they are BPA free and I just don't have to worry when I'm heating them up or anything about stuff getting into my food. I will link these down below if you're interested in checking these out. They were super affordable and I just think they're really sweet and I like to um, mix my salads and stuff in them. One reason that I picked these up was because Lead Safe Mama, I believe is her website, Lead Safe, leadsafemama.com recommended these. If you have never checked out her website, I really recommend it, especially if you are like me and you love vintage dishes. She tests them for lead and I think a couple other um, toxins that are found within them because a lot of vintage dishes weren't regulated, which we'll get into in a minute because that brings me to my next point. But I highly recommend checking her out and she recommends a lot of lead safe dishware and that's where I um, found these. So I'll have these linked down below and I'll also have her website linked down below if you are interested in checking her out. that last point talking about lead and cadmium quick little story time I started thrifting and antiquing for my wedding I use vintage dishware at my wedding and it was actually cheaper to purchase all of our plates versus renting them and so I purchased a bunch of plates and actually ended up keeping quite a few for just our everyday um, plate set and dinner set instead of registering for some. And we ate off of these for years until I come across some information and come across Lead Safe Mama's website and discovered that it may not be the safest option to be eating off of your old vintage um, dinnerware. Now there are many types of dinnerware out there, but specifically, ones like this plate. Um, first off, if I can get it to focus, you can see the cracks all over it. That is not a good sign when it has cracked because anytime you heat this up, whatever's inside is leaching out. Plus your food is getting in the pores and it can make, it can eventually make you sick. And then the colors, the brighter the colors, typically the more amount of lead that they contain. And so that prompted me to make a switch to a lead safe option. Could have went with lead free, but I love false graph. I love the, specifically the heritage collection. I picked up a, an eight piece dinnerware set from false graph that is lead safe. Contacted them like I did Pampered Chef and they too fall within the California Proposition 65 and European food standards. They just are not considered lead safe because of their materials that they're made out of. I highly recommend these. I think I might do a whole video on um, the Heritage Collection as well from Faultscraft just because 
there were quite a lot of reviews that were negative on the new heritage collection and i will say i have pieces of the old color wise they're not the same but quality i am actually impressed with and i don't know if they have redone and reformulated sorry my cat was on the counter and my husband came home so it got wild in the house for a minute but like i was saying i don't know if they if false graph read the negative reviews and reformulated their products but i'm actually really really happy with the the dishes that i got the new heritage collection that i got so um like i said i may do a whole separate video on that if you're interested it's not you know this collection's not for everybody but i think there's quite a few people out there who's curious how the new false graph relates to the old so um, leave a comment down below if that's something that you're interested in. Last but not least is the Always Pan. Mine's actually <laughs> in the dishwasher, but I'll make sure to include some clips of different times that I've used it. This pan is very expensive. <laughs> it is not a cheap investment. I found mine secondhand, and you know maybe you can find yours secondhand as well, but it it's the best pan I've ever used. And if you're looking for a nonstick option and you're not crazy about cast iron or cast iron hasn't really worked for you, I highly suggest this pan. It's, I got my mom to get one as well. And even she loves it just as equally as much as she loves her cast iron. I think it's wonderful. It comes in many different colors and it's just the best thought out pan but it is so nonstick. I've had no issues with it. It cleans beautifully. I can dish wash it. I can hand wash it. It's just all the way around a thousand percent wonderful. And I think if you're gonna invest in anything, that's the thing to invest in. And I really wanna try out the Caraway pans. If you have tried those Caraway pans, the pots and pans, let me know because I'm looking to switch over um, some of my pots to that brand and I'm just curious to know how you like them so so that is all that I have to share with you today if you are new here thank you for being here thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed hit that button down below and hit the like button while you're at it and yeah I'm just so happy that you're here and hopefully this helps like I said most of these that you are items that you can thrift you can um, find them for on Facebook Marketplace, usually for little to no money. So I highly suggest you check out your thrift store and your Facebook Marketplace first. And if you are interested in some of the other videos that I've done, I will have my, thr my most recent thrift haul linked down below, as well as our kitchen renovation linked for you if that's something that you're interested in. We did this kitchen ourselves and I'm very proud of it. So. Anyways, until next time, friends. Bye.